welcome to Model Train Fun. Uh, today I'm going to do a short video about uh, the lantern for the uh, double slip. The lantern will be solar to the decoder, so you have to be careful not to damage it. Additionally, you'll be using a hot soldering iron. As always, read the manual and follow safety guidelines. If you remember from the episode where I uh, uh, put the turnout decoder and the turnout mechanism inside the slip, I took the uh, LED out. So I have the saved the LED, so we got it here. And um, we have the turnout where we basically need to mount it back over here. However, I want to figure out how to actually connect it to the decoder. In order to do that, let's first look at the manual. So we have the manual here. Let's look in here and see if we can find anything useful. We have it here. Okay. No, that's not the pages. What do we have? We have here, we have here. Here at least we can see it. So you kind of can see a silhouette here of the decoder on top. And there's a brown wire and a yellow wire. I guess it's uh, important which wire goes where. Let's look at the decoder. We have the decoder here. I have to uh, pull it out and do remember not to uh, touch any of the electronics, which is very important. So the decoder looks like this. I'm just going to put a finger here. Um, and if we look at the manual, we kind of got a silhouette here. I think it's kind of positioned the same way. So if I look at the manual here, it looks like the yellow needs to go on the attachment furthest away, where it also says plus, and the brown needs to go to the one closer to it. All right, let's see if we can figure that out. So here's the LED I took out in the other episode. If we look at the uh, double slip, it needs to be here. And then I need to make sure the wires get to here. So I actually does, don't need that much wire. Um, if I look at the uh, LED, that's actually a lot of wire here. Um, so I'm going to cut it and to a shorter length. I'm not quite sure, to about here, I think. Let me see, where do I have my tools? Yeah, I have my tools. So I'm just going to cut it. And then I'm going to remove the insulations of the wires. It is, um, it is multi-threaded wire, so I'm just going to twist it. So I can have it ready. I'm going to twist both of them. All right. And here comes the tricky part because I want to tin and solder it. I'm going to tin it first. Um, I'm not going to do it as close up because I don't want to risk burning myself. So I'm just going to tin these. I have my soldering iron here. Okay. I'm just going to tin the ends here. So it's ready. I'm going to shorten the wire just a little here okay we're gonna find the turnout here and where the plus was that's where I want the yellow wire I got a little handy tool here to hold the board and see if we can solder it. I 
them out, it seems like. Alright, I think I had success. Let's try the other one. Alright. Now it's attached. Whew! That's the first soldering I've done in like 10, 15 years. A uh, little tough. And then my first time on camera, I should have tried uh, by myself first before I showed it on camera. But as you can see, I succeeded here in putting it on. Not the nicest solderings. The yellow here um, furthest away from me and the brown uh, closest. So now we just need to uh, mount everything in there. So let me see how it goes. The decoder, of course, needs to be upside down. And I need to route the wires around here. So let's see if I can do that. So they're around here. You see the LED has, a, or the plastic with the LED has one side here where you actually can see the LED and another one where you can just see the board. The one with the LED, of course, needs to be down there. And then there's a screw hole here where I unscrewed it last time. So let's just put it down like this and it fits there's some plastic here that will hold it so uh, this looks like reasonably okay so I'm holding it here and I'm just gonna put the screw in the hole again and attach the LED all right and you have to fiddle a little with the wires, I can see. They have to fit here. I can press the decoder in place again. Right, remember there was one here, one there, and one there. I need to press it in on. All right. Looks very nice. Let's uh, verify that everything works. It looks like it. I don't feel anything weird here. I'm looking at the mechanism at the LED. It's also working. Excellent. Ready to put on the track. Cool. We have installed the lantern. So of course the first thing I want to do now is make sure that it actually works uh, when I'm using it. So I'm going to try and change it here back and forward. And observe all of these blades around. There's four blades, right? One in each direction. Observe how they're going. They should all like go perfectly to the side. Um, actually, uh, off camera, I figured out that it wasn't uh, going perfectly off to the side. And it turned out because some of the wires I had chucked under the decoder was actually blocking it. So be careful of that. All right. And now we can um, lift up the... Um, the double slip here so you can see how it is. You see there's a small um, light here. So that's actually the light, the lantern we have uh, mounted. And when we shift, you see it actually does shift as well. So everything is perfect and we're happy.